for as long as I can remember, I, I realized I just always wanted to be somebody else. I didn't know how to give voice to um, the fact that I hated myself. It was after a particular failure and I, I tried to lose weight. I've always struggled with my weight. And it's like even the whole Big Daddy Weave thing is this, this funny thing. And we try to laugh it off, but it really is kind of a self defense mechanism as well. We had this challenge in 2009 where we we're going to lose 90 pounds in 2009. I mean, all these people gathered around and, you know, they were, they were doing it too. And they're losing all kinds of weight and we're doing well. And we trying to meet this goal, exercising, meeting with people and all, all kinds of seeing doctors, all kinds of stuff. And we're just trying so hard to reach this goal. I don't want to let anybody down. I don't want to let me down. I want to meet the goal. And got to the last day of the year, I'd lost 84 pounds, which missed the goal by six pounds. Now that is quite an accomplishment though. It's like losing an entire middle schooler off of your body, you know, but the truth is, all I could see in it was that I did not make it. That I And it just resonated with this thing in me that just felt like, man, you're a failure. You always have been a failure. You don't measure up. Nobody can like you. You're unlikable. As uh, that realization kind of sunk in, I just started putting weight back on. I put back all of the weight that I had lost, plus guess how many pounds? Six pounds the missing six pounds. It's like I was punishing myself. I really gave voice to the fact that, no, I hate me. I hate me. And there was this day when I was, I was sitting on the floor of our garage and I was telling God everything that I hated about me. But then the Holy Spirit just intervened in that moment and he spoke just really clearly to my heart in that still small voice. It's so, it's so quiet and it's so still, but at the same time, it just wrecks you and it, it kind of apprehends the moment. And the voice of God in my life just said, you need to let me tell you what I think about you for once. And I was ready for like this really super spiritual sounding thing, but he just said, I like the way that you smile. I've told this story a lot of times. In fact, so many times that we heard a whole book about it, but it still wrecks me because the God of the universe would take a minute to tell me what he likes about me. I have never doubted the love of God for me. The problem was me being able to agree with the love of God for me. Like I couldn't love me, you know? And when he said, I like the way that you smile, it's like he connected with this place in me that saw something that I actually liked about me too. When that happened, it's not like the problem cleared up, you know, <laughs> but it was the beginning of a journey of realizing that for me to think something about myself that God's not thinking is wrong. And that's, it's partnering with the enemy. The enemy is the accuser. The enemy comes against you and he tries to tell you everything that's wrong with you. And you think that holy God up there would just, because he's aware of everything wrong with us, you'd think he'd be doing the same thing, but that's not how he is. He sees the thing that from creation, when he made that statement, he says, it's good, it's good. And he begins focusing on that thing. And so even though when the enemy comes and he brings these accusations towards us, and there's something that sounds true about them, man, I'm telling you what I'm learning is that it may be true, but it's not the truest thing about me. And it's not the truest thing about you. The truest thing about you is the love of God for you in the face of all of the accusations that the enemy makes. Because God demonstrated his love in this that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That is the gospel. We can never get there on our own. And so when we try to measure up on our own, man, our rightness with God is like filthy rags, scripture says. But we have been giving a righteousness with God from God. That is the gospel. That is good news. And that is a way to begin moving beyond self-hatred.